Jamaican fragment. C1 answer the following questions and share your responses with your partner. 1. Why was the morning walk pleasant to Mr. Al Hendrix? Answer. A.L. Hendrix considers his morning walk from his home to the rail track lines pleasant and beneficial for three reasons. First of all, the setting was good with red and green roofed bungalows, green lawns, and gardens on either side. Secondly, the walk was as beneficial as exercise. Thirdly, some of the incidents that took place during this period enlightened him in one way or another adding to his wisdom. 2. The exercise is good for me, says the narrator. What was that exercise? Answer. The exercise was walking half a mile from his home to rail track lines in the morning and from the lines to his home in the evening. 3. What did the narrator notice one morning? Answer. One morning the narrator noticed that two boys were playing in the garden in front of a modest cottage. 4. How did the smaller boy behave while playing with the bigger boy? Answer. The smaller boy behaved like a master. He ordered the bigger boy to pick up a stick, to jump into the flowers and to get him some water. C2. Answer the following questions and share your responses with your partner. 1. What sight surprised the narrator the next day? Answer. The next morning, the narrator saw the two boys playing the same game. But, there was a reversal of the roles. The dark boy was behaving like a master and the white boy was doing whatever the dark boy asked him to do. 2. What were the two commands given by the black boy to the white boy? Answer. The two commands given by black boy to the white boy were, give me a banana, and, peel it for me. 3. Why was the white man surprised at the narrator's outburst? Answer. The white man surprised because, he came to know the narrator did not know that the boys were his sons and they were brothers. 4. Why do you think the narrator smiled at the end? Answer. The narrator who had earlier worried over the possible supremacy of the whites over the Jamaicans is now proud that Jamaica has the spirit of accepting the whites without losing its pride. This relieved him of his anxiety and doubt. Therefore, he smiled in the end. C3. Some statements are given below. Some are true and some are false. Write T or F in the box provided against each sentence accordingly. 1. The bigger boy was black. T. 2. The black boy ordered the white boy to pick up that stick. F. 3. The white boy sat down on the lawn. T. 4. The two boys were not dressed alike. F. 5. The little boys were playing when the narrator passed by in the afternoon. F. 6. The next day, a man was playing with the boys. F. 7. The game that the two boys played was the same game the author had played during his childhood. T. 8. I know what you are thinking, said the man standing at the gate to the narrator. F. 9. The father of the boys was white and the mother brown. T. 10. 92% of Jamaica is inhabited by blacks. F. C4. For each of the statements, four alternatives are given as the answers. Choose the best alternative. 1. The two boys in the story are. Answer. B. Brothers. 2. The commands that the white boy gave to the black boy were. Answer. C. 3 in number. 3. The black boy had a mat of coarse hair on his head. Cause means. Answer. A. Rough. 4. Only we grown ups are silly. The question tag to this statement is. Answer. A. Aren't we? 5. The white boy had hazel eyes. Hazel. Means. Answer. A. Reddish brown. C. 5. Read and discuss your responses with your partner. Then write. 1. What similarities and differences can you make out between the two boys? Answer. Similarities Both boys were little, both the boys were sturdy, both were dressed alike. Differences One was four years old, the other five. The bigger was black with a mat of coarse hair on his head and black eyes. The other boy was smaller. He was white with hazel eyes and light brown hair. 2. What three commands did the big boy give the small boy? Answer. The big black boy gave only two commands to small white boy. The commands were, give me a banana, and, peel it for me. 
3. The author could find no answer to some questions. Which are those questions? Answer. The questions were whether it was even as a boy he had sensed his own country he would be at the white man's back and call. If he could make difference between himself and the white boy. If he thought that he could boss over the black man. The author did not find answers to the above questions. 4. Why was the narrator surprised next morning? Answer. The game next morning surprised the author because it went against the conclusions he had arrived at the previous morning. The next morning too, the game was the same game of master and servant. But, the boys had interchanged their roles. 5. How did the two boys behave while playing? Answer. The little white boy was walking majestically up and down, and every now and then shouted in a commanding tone at his bigger playmate. The little brown boy dragged on quietly behind him and did what he was told. 6. What made the narrator think that the black boy could be the son of a servant or a classmate of the white boy? Answer. Noticing the color, eyes and hair of the both boys, author came to the conclusion that the black boy must be son of the servant of the white boy. By noticing the same dress that they wore, author thought that they could be classmate. 7. What were the two points that the narrator wanted to clarify to the white man? Answer. Narrator wanted to clarify that, the white boy was not commanding the black and the two boys were playing a game. He told the white man that we grown ups are silly. 8. The two boys, though brothers, differed in their color. What might be the reason? Answer. The reason is that their father was a white man and their mother was a brown woman. 9. If you were the white man, how would you react to the narrator's comment? Answer. I would have clearly told the narrator that his ideas were wrong. There was no discrimination between the black and the white. The white man would never boss over the black in our country. V1. Column. A. Has the names of the countries. Choose the correct nationality from the list given below. And write in column. B. E.g. America American. Answer. A. B. Portugal Portuguese. Britain British. France French. Thailand. Thai. Sweden Swedish. Holland Dutch. Switzerland Swiss. Greece Greek. Israel Israelite. Nepal Nepalese. We too. Guess and give the meanings of the words underlined in the table given below. Answer. A. B. Stipulated agreement perform do, operate. Quench satisfy. Drown sunk. Please delighted. We three. Read the following conversation and use the appropriate word from the ones given in brackets. Answers. Heal. Heal. Weak. Weak. Fair. Fair. Last. Lost. V4. Fill in the blanks with words that have similar pronunciation as the words underlined. 1. Papanna and Somanna are good friends. The former is a farmer and the latter is a businessman. 2. The thief wanted to steal. But the doors were locked. He broke open the lock with a steel rod. 3. Come here, said the teacher. But the student did not hear. 4. Mandana, your answer is quite right. But, for a moment will you keep quiet. 5. Rashmi gave birth to a male child in Bengaluru. Her husband who was in Mysore came to Bengaluru by the mail train. C5. We can form the opposites by adding prefixes to words, e.g. Important and unimportant. 1. Sunita is regular to the class, but Sushma is irregular. 2. Rama Murthy answer is correct, but Narayan's is incorrect. 3. Sita's way of expressing facts is proper but Lakshmi's is improper. 4. All should respect the national flag. No one should disrespect it. 5. The competition was very tough. It was Rahul's fortune that he won but it was Sanjay's misfortune that he lost. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.